David, how's it going here thus far? It, it's not good. Very ungood. By the way, how about David and David together here? Hey, hey, well, one David's been carrying the other one right now, and it's been him so far, but I'm about to get on track. Hey. Listen, yeah, the left-handed quarterback, I'm assuming, by the way, this is David Green, of course, David yeah, Pollock here. Score. He sucked. The left-handed quarterback, I'm assuming it's a left-handed bowling throw there as well. Yeah, I'm coming over the top a little bit right now. I got a little more spin. I, I, I think we got to yeah. slow it down and do better aim. I'm going to throw it hard. All right, let's watch. Here goes David Green right here. Former SEC champion, Georgia quarterback, one of the winningest quarterbacks in NCAA history. Let's see if we can get the scene here. He throws it hard. Hey, I give him credit for that. He throws it hard. <laughs> David, good to see you. Thanks for being out here tonight. Obviously a Super Bowl winning quarterback, but a part of the Rick family here there as well. We were talking to Coach Rick earlier. You know, I know how much planning's gone into this. When you look around, you see people having the fun they're having tonight. The, the fans blending with players, eras of players blending together, coaches on hand. How personally satisfying is that for you? It's awesome. When, I, when, when Coach Rick took the job way back when, he wanted family to be a part of it. And all of our family came here. Four brothers and sisters they had, the 12 cousins. And then, obviously being a head coach here, it becomes family. Dog Nation has stepped up big time. Everyone here in Athens, all the sponsorship in the state of Georgia. It's incredible. Get the whole Georgia Bulldog team being out here with Kirby. Like, it's an incredible night. Raising money for, for Parkinson's and Crohn's. They're, they're, they're having to live it, yeah. obviously with his granddaughter and, and Coach Rick living with Parkinson and stuff, but it's a family environment. Everyone coming out having a great night. Love it. Well, I've got to ask you this because you've been in our lives for a long time. We remember your career. We've watched, we're have watched. watching your sons play right now. Obviously, Coach Rick, we've been around him. What's it like when you're blending the life of a player, coach, and family and the fact that it kind of all just sort of bleeds together there and, you know, it's your normal life for the rest of it. It's a very different thing because we're watching a lot of this play on television. What's it like, you know, kind of blending football and family together the way that you all have for so many years? It's the way we've grown up. So <laughs> so my little kids, obviously they're playing Texas A&M now, but they were at all the Georgia Bulldog games growing up with Uncle Mark on the sidelines. And then after the games, we're over at his house having dinner. And so it's always been about family, faith, and just and, – and that's it, and football, right. really. So we've got, it's all been blended in. All the 12 cousins here in town, they grew up together. We all went to school at Prince and, and then just making Athens our home. I mean, when Mark first came here, he's like, Brad, when we thought about moving here to Athens, yeah. he's like, I'm never going to leave Athens. Even if I get fired or whatever happens, Athens is home. And that was the kicker for us, to, for our family to move here also. Well, I was going to say this and to finish things up, you know that at this point now you're in the UGA family, right? Yeah. Like, like you've been adopted into the family, you've been in Athens for long enough now that you're basically in our community now. We lived here for 15 years. Our kids have grown up here first grade all the way through high school and all the above. And this will always, Athens will always be our home for us, even though we kind of live in different places during the fall sometimes. But Athens is home for us, the friends, the families that we have here, it, and the church that we're at at Prince is incredible. I'll tell you what, I really appreciate you stopping by and seeing us. Okay. Thanks for a great night, and thanks for allowing Dog Nation to be a part of it. Oh, that's awesome. Appreciate you, Dog Nation. Way to step up.